Hello guys, welcome back to some Modern Man MTG here today, and today we are playing some uh, black green aristocrats. Um, so basically what an aristocrat deck is, it's playing cards such as like Blood Throne Vampire to sack creatures and gain abilities. So you're going to sack cards like Ashkin Skin Zubra, this deck's called, um, what is it called, Zubra Aristocrats? I apologize. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what we're playing. We're just playing like a green-black value deck. Um, trying to beat our opponents down. If you guys want to see more content like this, remember to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps. Uh, I know my popper videos don't get a whole lot of views. Um, not a lot of people play popper, but you know if the community keeps to keep uh, continues to keep showing me support, and I'll keep playing it. Well, let's go ahead and uh, try to find a game, and let's see how well we can do. We got lucky and jumped right into the game. There was no reason for me to stop recording there. Uh, is this hand a good hand? It's an alright hand. It's not great. Um, I do like a Rancor hand. This hand's a little land heavy. Uh, we'll try it. We're on the draw. My opponent on Metalcraft White. Can't attack unless you control a Knight or a Soldier. Well, we'll lead on Swamp so we can Tragic Slip it. Pass turn. My opponent playing like Mono White Soldiers. Uh, go ahead and tragic slip the War Falcon. I guess I could have tragic slipped the Javelin Ears. Probably would have been a smarter idea. I drew a swamp, anyways. So we're going to play the Dripping a Tongue Hazubra. So what this one does is when it dies, you create a 1 1 spirit creature for each Zubra that died this turn. Look at that tongue. That man's got a massive tongue. Look at that. That thing's like half his body. Another Javelin Ears. Sure. I'm going to equip up. That seems fair. He equipped it to the wrong one, opponent. Oh, the struggles. Hmm. So let's go ahead and rancor up the, the Zubra. Attack for three. Unfortunately, Blood Throne Vampire is vampires only a 1 1. So it's really awkward to play into the Javelin Ears. You just trading? That's fair. Whatever. I would like to pick my Rancor back up. Play a 4. Oh, still in the damage step. Okay. Tragic slip their other javelineers. I'm gonna kill my spirit. Sure. Play a four or a swamp and pass turn. Next turn we'll probably play the other Zubra in the Blood Throne Vampire. Hunger of the How Pack, that's a pretty good one. So I'll play the Blood Throne Vampire. Play the Zubra. Okay, Manotithe. That's a that's an interesting card. Okay, we just got Manotithe. Okay, okay. And my opponent actually just scoops it up. I'm assuming they're not drawing anything good. We weren't really either, so I don't know why they did that, but to each their own. What do we have? I think... Probably don't need Aerial Folly or Natural State. Or as Mer Mesmeric Fiend. I'm thinking like Brindle Shoats, maybe? 
over Ashkin Zubras, and maybe mm. feed the clans. No, I don't think I want feed the clan. But maybe I want Sprout Swarm. Hmm. Do I want feed the clan over Undying Eagle? Mm. Probably not. So let's just cut the Ashkin Zubras and try it like this. The reason I'm bringing in the Sprout Swarm is so if we get to that awkward point where neither of us can do anything, I can basically just generate quote-unquote infinite card advantage with the Sprout Swarm. And the reason I'm bringing in the Brindle Shoats over the Black Zubras is because if my opponent's an aggro deck, they really aren't going to have that many cards to discard. So I'd rather just get a 3-3 body. Or we're just going to get no lands. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll keep this. Don't need a second carry and feeder. I need to put Mortician Beetle in here, I think. I think that's a card everybody's been playing in their Aristocrats decks recently. They draw a Rancor. I don't really want to get... I'll just crack it now. I'll go grab a Forest. Pass turn. Opponent has a three bit inspector. Oh, it's a soldier. That's neat. Didn't realize that. Gets in with their falcon. Still don't want to get manatized, so we're going to play a swamp. Huh. Cast a blister pod. Pass turn. Maybe I should just run in a card to the man, uh, the Manatite so I don't have to keep playing. Uh, Bone Splitter. So they definitely have the Manatite. I do like me a Young Wolf. But I like Carrion Feeder better, and I definitely like Rancor better. So we'll play Carrion Feeder. Is that Lord of Riots? Oh, that's Lord. Is that the Ravnica run? Or is that Lord of the Pits? Huh. Put that over there so you guys can see the cards better if you don't know what they do. Now we'll play the Young Wolf and hope we get Manatized. Opponent snapped off the Manatized as I figured. That's fine. I could have sacked this guy, made a token, and sacked the token for mm -hmm. mana. That just all seems like too much for a young wolf. A foil young wolf at that? A very fancy young wolf. Should probably put a suit and tie on that man. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. It's, they're not going to equip the bone splitter? Interesting. That's fine. They want to sack their clue, maybe? They drew a forest, which is pretty good. Play the forest. Actually, rather my Blood Throne Vampire get Mana Tide, opposed to the Rancor. Go ahead and Rancor up Carrion Feeder. Combat. Attack with 3 1 trample. That's pretty good. Sack an attacking or blocking creature. Sack the carrion feeder. Get my rancor back. Go ahead and slam the blood throne vampire. Pass turn. So now they're equipping Bone Splitter. 
So that must mean they don't have anything else in their hand. And played another War Falcon. So the race is on, is what I'm getting out of this. And I'm okay with the race. Never opposed to the race. So now we have 2, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage threatening. So I probably don't want to put everything into my to this right now. I will sack at least one dude if he blocks like that. Uh, probably the spawn. Give my dude plus 2, plus 2. Now he can't attack with his dudes. I don't know if know, they know that. Interesting play by the opponent. Can't attack or block? Or can't attack? Okay. Very majestic falcon. Now the Thraben Inspector, so it didn't matter. Another Bone Splitter. I don't know if I appreciate this race anymore. Six. I'm dead next turn. Unless I draw a removal spell. That unfortunately is not a removal spell. Four, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. Unfortunately. We're just like one card off from winning. That Celestial Flare and Mana Tithe. Let me tell you what. Actually, just attack with the team. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. Fall to eleven. Pass turn. Got a warrior or soldier, and they do, unfortunately. Looks like we're going to game three against mono white soldiers. Mono white aggro soldiers. Soldier aggro. Birds. Bird, 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 bird. So maybe I do want to feed the clans. Maybe I do want zubras as well. Now that I think about it, I don't think I'm going to be Sprout Swarming. Uh, it just seems a little too slow, and I think I need to be fast. Undying Evil, the same thing. Um, hunger's fine. Maybe we just play one Zubra. Try it like this. See if we can not mold a five this game. That would be good. Uh, we have no black mana, but we got Young Wolf and the Nest Invader. That seems fine. I'll keep it. This is a risky keep, but I think it'll be alright if we draw a black mana. And we don't have to worry about the mana tithe right now. Always with the War Falcon, man. Oh, oh that's gross. Always the War Falcon. Well, you gonna offer a trade, big man? You gonna offer a trade? No trade, huh? Interesting. Pass turn. Sunlance. Sure. And a Thraven Inspector. Sure. If we draw a black source, we can hit our opponent for some damage. That was 
is not a black source. Power four or greater, huh? It's interesting. So now what we can do is we can go to combat, attack with the young wolf, hunger the young wolf, and then sack our spawn. So it gets a morbid trigger. And gain 10 life. Falls to 15, we go to 28. Unfortunately, it won't undie now. But I think that's the only real line of play we had there. Drawing a black band would be very good so we can blow up the War Falcon. I actually don't know if they can kill the Young Wolf now. They'd have to like double Sunlance it or Sunlance Javelineers it. That's fine. You can have a Bone Splitter. Quick to the war falcon. You just gonna try to race me, big man? You sure this is a race you want? Okay, you could have blocked. Bold. Bold strategy. Blister pod, okay. Sure. Not really a black source, but I'll take it. Attack with the 4 4 young wolf. Put it falls to 11. Let's go and play the blister pod. Pass turn. Really, you need a black source. This game would probably be over if we had a black source. My opponent decided the race wasn't worth it. Nope. Whenever it dies, transform it. Sure. Okay, now you're just messing with me. Now you're just fucking with me, deck. Attack with the young wolf. Sure. Whatever. Just need a black source. Just one black source. Or another feed the clan. Uh, take six or block. Probably take six. Another one, huh? It's uh, interesting. Is he a double block? That doesn't seem like something I'm interested in doing. Well, am I? No, I don't think I am. I think I can take one turn off to try to brawl a black source. Come on, black source, one time. One time, black source. Oh, that's a... That's a double bone splitter. Thing. I'm at eight. <sighs> this isn't great. Maybe I should have brought in those aerial volleys for the four flying creatures they have in their deck. You have three bone splitters? Are you kidding me? I bet Black Source is the next card. Can almost guarantee it. That's fine. I'm dead. I get it. You killed me. Okay, maybe it wasn't. It was a long way off, okay? I get it. I get it. Well, guys, as always, as I said earlier in the video, remember to smash that thumbs up button if you guys want to see more popper or more decks like this. Remember, as always, comment down below if you guys have any suggestions on uh, decks I should play, any things I should add to the deck, any things I should change in the deck, anything like that. 
Remember to subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more awesome content like this daily. And I hope you guys have a good night and an awesome day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.